So uh, we're at the uh, Riverhead Backyard Relapse Ultra um, and what it is is it's a format of running race where you um, run one lap an hour at 6.7 kilometres um, so that seems easy to do a 6.7k loop in an hour um, but it just keeps going so on the hour everybody starts again and it just keeps going until there's only one person left standing whether it's a man or a woman so uh, that 6.7k might take you three quarters of an hour so you've got 15 minutes to rest um, have some food change your clothes um, before you have to line up again to, to start all over again and it just keeps going and going <laughs> it's a beautiful format Uh, so it's a it's a combination of physical and mental strength. Um, this event, um, or history's proven that you don't have to be a fast runner or a strong runner to succeed. Um, if you can grit it out um, and just keep turning the legs over, then you can succeed uh, because the mind's the thing that's going to keep you getting up out of the chair to start the next loop. And, and those that can conquer that and just think of it as being one more lap, one more lap each time, um, then they're the ones that, that succeed rather than thinking about the, the big picture goal of I want to do 100 laps or 50 laps. <laughs> this is going to start to bite down. Yeah, a lot of people say that you have to be crazy to do this kind of stuff, running for so many hours in the dark um, for a couple of days. Uh, but actually you'll find that most of the people are quite the opposite and quite um, technical and keen to analyse and work out the best way of doing something. Um, and they just want to get out there and test their limits, you know, both physical and mental. And um, that's why I do it as, as for that physical. And, and you've got to conquer the mental side to, um, to get further than what the body thinks you can do physically, which is, it's an amazing thing to try and work out that puzzle. Woo!